the lovely people at Dope Snow have given me a couple of pairs of their Dope Sight goggles for me to have a look at and review and uh, make a video about. The age old debate, goggles under or over the helmet. This is them over the helmet. Uh, they fit quite nicely at the helmet, like the, the, there's not really a gap here. They do protrude a little bit, I, I guess, out, but you know, so yeah. Ow. Can, they're just about here, I don't know if you can see. And it actually is causing a bit of a, an annoying pressure point on the back of my head. Fit under the helmet, not that great. Fit over the helmet, perfectly fine. No issues at all with it. I've never actually tried to swap the goggle lenses on this, so I don't actually know what I'm doing. Guess, I just pull. Okay, but you basically pull them from the top and the kind of lens nicely comes out. Putting them back in. You've got to hook this ridge, like sandwich it into this rubber, which is a little bit fiddly. Okay, a bit of a faff. I think I've got four lenses here. I've got the pink mirror, I've got champagne mirror, I've got red brown and this green mirror. Um, what I'm gonna try and do is I'm going to see if I can film and somehow take the grade of each lens and put it onto the film so that you guys at home can see roughly what I'm seeing through the lens. Right, let's get onto the slope. <laughs> day today. Nice. I tested the dope goggles with four different lenses. First one I tested was this champagne mirror. I think this one was my favorite all round. The light was not really as flat, but I didn't find that even when I went through shadows that I had any problems seeing the bumps. So I really like that and it didn't make me squint at all. So I think that was possibly my favorite one. This one was the other bright light lens. Um, I like them, but I think they're a little bit maybe too dark for an all-round lens so they're good 
I like the color of these. It was a bit uh, more contrasty, sort of ready pink, uh, but maybe a little bit too dark and not great when you go through the bits of shadow. You kind of lost all definition of the bumps and stuff in the shadows. Least favorite by a mile, these ones. I don't like the look of them. I don't like completely clear with no mirror. I skied them once on a really, really flat bit of piece. Couldn't really see anything, wouldn't buy them. Don't really know what the purpose is of them. They're not good enough in flat light. They're not really good in bright light. I don't really know why you'd get these ones. Uh, so not for me. And then I finished with these ones, which I think is the pink mirror. I like these. Um, they're maybe a little too high VLT for like a super bright day. I skied them right at the end of the day. The sun was really low and it was it was still a little bit on the borderline of having to squint because it was quite bright. That being said, I think if I was going to pick two lenses, I'd have this one for the bright days because I think you, it has the most overlap of being good enough to use in bright days. And towards the end of the day, if you've got a bit flat, you could probably get away with it without having to change the lens, which I think would be a problem with this. I think you'd have to change the lens on this one towards the end of the day. This one you could get away with not. And then I would also have this one for like low or flat light days because it's mirrored, uh, but it's still quite high VLT. And I felt like it was a nice lens to have and I could I didn't really have any issues with it. So these two will be my, my choice, the champagne and the pink. I think that's it for my first ever review of technical goggles. Um, I hope you liked it. Uh, I'm gonna finish my beer and then go home. So yeah, see you next time.